Coach, what, have you, what kind of impact do you think uh, special teams have had on this series? Um, well, I think they have the impact they normally do on, on games. They have an opportunity to be the difference. Um, you know, I think our power play and our penalty kill have been pretty good to this point. Uh, so they've certainly, uh, you know, have, have had a positive impact from, from our standpoint. Uh, but certainly, you know, like most games, special teams always has an opportunity to be the difference. Coach, uh, you mentioned scoring chances yesterday. Coach Shortarell has mentioned shot attempts a couple times. Is this a case where uh, you know, those two things are telling different stories, and, and why do you think that is? Are you asking the last game or the whole series? Or, Well, you know, I think like any statistic, um, when they're taken in their proper context in conjunction with other information, it helps you as a coaching staff assess your team game. Uh, I think when they're taken in isolation, they r you run the danger of uh, misinterpreting or um, assessing you know, self-assessing the wrong way. So as, a, as our coaching staff, you know, we have certain statistics that we track in detail that, that we think hold a priority value. And uh, we think it, it gives us the, uh, the opportunity, I guess, to, to, to self-assess um, as best we can in an objective way. So scoring chances is always something for me that, uh, that helps you tell the story because uh, inevitably, it's difficult to score without a chance. Um, all other statistics can be um, can be deceiving if not taken in its proper context. So that's that's how we look at it. So we we track scoring chances in detail. Uh, we track scoring chance involvement in detail, how they occur, who's involved, uh, how we give them up, and in in an attempt to make sure that we keep our eye on the right ball and trying to help our team either get better in certain areas or continue to work certain areas or exploit opportunities at the other end of the rink. Mike, uh, given how many shots on goal he's faced, how many scoring chances he's faced, how would you evaluate Mark andres play in net throughout the series so far? I think Mark's been solid. You know, I think he gives us a chance to win. He's made some timely saves for us. Um, you know, he certainly is, has given our team a chance to win each and every night, and that's all you can ask of your goaltender. Uh, Mike, with, with the understanding that you're always focuses on your team, was there anything that the Carlson line did last game uh, to kind of maybe, uh, obviously they, they scored, but to take away uh, your, your top lines, uh, which had been so good the previous two games? Uh, you know, you have to give, listen, Columbus played a good game. All four of their lines, you know. Um, so you have to tip your hat to Columbus. They played a solid game. Uh, I don't think we had our best game. And so uh, our coaching staff didn't feel as though we had our best game. When we have our best game, we believe that we can throw four lines on the ice that can compete against anybody and play through any sort of a matchup or whatever that may be. Um, you know, these guys have done it all year long. And so, uh, you know, I, I think I, I know that uh, th that our top lines – uh, not just our top line, but our top lines, plural, uh, can and will be better. And, uh, and that, that's how we assessed our game. You know, we're, as I said, our focus is on our team. Um, you know, certainly, are, are we aware of matchups? Sure we are. Uh, you know, are we, um, are we looking for certain things out there that, to try to put our team in an advantageous position from a matchup standpoint? Yes. Sometimes that changes during a game. Uh, I think that was the case with Columbus last game. That wasn't the start of the game matchup. And so that, that changed in, uh, uh, through the process of the game. And, and uh, so we're aware of matchups and, and who's playing against whom and what we're looking for. And, you know, it, it, and so um, you know, that, that, that's how we look at it. But we're more concerned about our team. We're more concerned about our lines and making sure that we execute and we play the game that we're trying to play. Mike, I'm curious, um, as two guys who, who didn't play a whole lot immediately before the start of the playoffs, uh, Oli Mata and Trevor Daly, your sort of assessment of their play as a pair so far this series? I think they're getting better with each game they play. I think their timing's getting better, their conditioning's getting better, their game conditioning is getting much better. Um, you know, these guys are good players. We rely on them. They're, they're, uh, they've played in a high-stakes environment. They have experience. They're, 
Um, you know, they're trustworthy guys and they're good players. Uh, they've been a good pair for us. They've played a fair amount together uh, in my tenure here and there, so I know there's familiarity there. Um, and, uh, you know, we think they're getting better with each, with each game that they get under their belt.